Carpenter, everybody. Now, you often score your own films, and here you are again. Here's another one of you scoring back in the day. And, you, you know, I had the opportunity to ask John Williams recently what his job was as a composer. What, what do you think that job is? Well, I'm a carpet composer. What I mean by that is I talk to the director and I see what does he need. Mm -hmm. I, I carpet his house, his movie, emotionally, plot-wise, characters, moods. He needs something, I lay down this carpet. Right underneath there, there it is. If your name wasn't Carpenter, would you use a different metaphor? I would, I would. Yeah. If, your, if your name was John Roofer, you'd go like, what do I do is I keep yeah, the rain off. House, yeah. Yeah. What is your job, what is, I asked, I asked Spielberg this question, what is your job as a director? Uh, to make the movie tell a story, make sense, deal with all the emotional stuff and try to make it as great as possible. That's is the great. one you enjoy more at this point, composing or directing? Oh, composing, God. Why? Directing, you have 150 people on your back every day, mm -hmm. and it costs all this money, and this pressure coming from above, like, oh. get this done. And then when you finish it, at the end of the day, you're the guy with the film cans at the end of the hallway, and they come to kick your ass. <laughs> In case, it, if it yeah, doesn't work, yeah, it doesn't work yeah. out. In case they're like, we want an ET. Yeah, and they didn't give them that. They no. were very happy, unhappy. Don't ever do that. No, no, no. Um, You've got a new album right here. The man. Just there. came out called Anthology 2, mm -hmm. which you made with your son, Cody Carpenter, and your godson, Daniel Davies. You're revisiting old scores of yours. That's correct. Okay, yeah. what, what is it like to come back to these old scores and, and, and do them again? Fantastic, because we have uh, much better sounds today than we did in those days. You got Halloween, Escape from New York, Big Trouble in Little China, They Live, Assault on Precinct 13. All the fun ones. <laughs> Um, you're also back in the director's chair for a, a new project you're doing for Peacock, fittingly for the spooky season. It is called Suburban Screams. This director's chair appears to be in your living room. It is. <laughs> are I, you, uh, where I, are the people you're directing? They're in Prague. And so you're, 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 you're in Los Angeles in I'm in Hollywood Hill, sitting back in my chair, telling them what to do in Prague. It's awesome. Awesome, I tell you. That's the only way to direct. Really? You don't feel like you're missing anything? Hell no. <laughs> right here is where it is all about. W would, you, would you have preferred to direct the, the thing remotely? Yes, I didn't know about it then. <laughs> Hell yes. Where do you, where, that, that, it's such a bleak landscape in the <coughs> thing. Where were you for that? We were in a couple of big snow places. One uh, uh, in the Mendenhall Glacier. We were on top of that above Juneau, and one in Stewart, British Columbia. We were on top of a glacier there in a, in a mining town. And, oh, my God, it was rough. Rough. So how, how many is this? Like, uh, it's like nine cast members and, and you and the crew, something like yeah, that? Yeah. And, what, and it's a bit of a sausage fest. And <laughs> what was when, when at the end of the day, you guys are still in these isolated spots, freezing cold outside, essentially living like the people who are in the, That's in the movie. Yeah. What did you guys do for fun? Ooh, I can't tell you. <laughs> I really can't tell you. Even 40 years later, the statute of limitations isn't up? No, these guys are married still. I can't say. <laughs> Well, uh, John, really lovely to have you on. Thank you Absolutely, so much. Absolutely, Stephen. Thank Do you. Do me a favor and watch Clark and watch him. John Carpenter's Suburban Screams is available now on Peacock. John Carpenter, everybody. We'll be right